Good morning everybody. It's a bit of a cloudy start and yesterday 15 views I managed to attain which was rather nice and I look forward to that when I see over 100. That would be really nice but in the meantime I shall keep giving the message out. It's only stayed a few remarks um, upon my little Facebook about yesterday's post which is all about you know hearing people's views, hearing people's comments and I'm not saying who's right who's wrong it's just interesting to see what people think and as we go forward i think that's important you know that we all have a voice we all have our opinion don't necessarily agree with it but it's nice to be heard and i think that's quite relevant that we do take the time to listen and voice our own thoughts and concerns and so let's think of three things to be grateful for well, I'm grateful for those views and comments. That's a, definitely a plus. And grateful for a lovely Qigong session I did like uh, yesterday. Working with a thing called Buddha Palm, which I'm going to start in, well, I already am. I'm going to incorporate this into my Reiki, which gives just a little bit more energy, let's put it that way, into what I do. Looking forward to that. And also thankful for a few people who've, uh, going to come along to my angelic retreat that I'm running Sunday. So this is a real just nice chill out day. If, you got, if you're free on Sunday and you're in the Kent area, come on down. Have a nice like, chill out day, just relax. I'll do all the work. Or you don't have to do hardly anything. And just chill, just be. And we'll bring in some beautiful energies through meditations, a little bit of healing. Um, and probably, possibly a little bit of guidance and I want to use some AHT as well which is where I use my voice to do some healing towards the end and if it's um, you know people may want to join in or not they don't have to they can just lay down and relax or if they feel a bit more energetic they can join in as well that is happening this Sunday if you want to know more drop us a message I'll tell you all about it Anyway, today I'm going to read. See, you know, so I'll leave the reading bit to the end because I know as soon as I say I'm reading the story, people disappear. So for those who'd like a little bit of a story, it's not too long. Um, this was actually in a little magazine. It's called Sea Spot Run. This is what's coming. I love all these little kind of like funky little newsletter magazine things. Uh, this was back in 2014 I had this published. So I shall read it for you now. It's called The Rising Price of Fares. And I shall use my ASMR voice, shall I? Jane had never seen a living scarecrow before. An odd body shivers beneath a parka. A battered bell hat threatens to slip past a flaky fringe. Three white cans of cola and a bottle of tiger beer scramble towards the bag packers. Several bags of crisps follow at express pace. Are you all right? Yes, replies a tinny voice. She hands over a wrinkled note. I'm so sorry, that's not enough. She rifles her purse. An unsmiling Buddha squashes a golden rabbit into the next customer sign. I don't have enough. I'm afraid you'd have to put something back. The woman scratches the back of her neck. Jane considers calling security. Hold on. She reaches into her pockets and summons a silver coin. Buddha folds his arms and bites his lip. I'll walk home. Jane hands over her change. The waspish woman skittles away. Jane wonders when she'll return. Violet James has to, ru has to hurry. She can't believe she has spent so much. She hates the, th the thought of walking two and a half miles. Violet has to be back by ten. Her needle legs pump for all they are worth. Her willowy body flashes past her usual bus stop. A stodgy, sluggish man absorb most of the pavement. She pushes past and steps into the road. A transit van cannot stop. She peers up at a rusted chassis. Her breath struggles to escape. Weakening fingers grip the neck of a broken bottle. Her husband always complained that drink would be the death of her. And there we are. That's your cheerful little number to start your day. Uh, that, I also wrote that a few years ago, and I must admit, I've probably had to change the silver coins to 
Ryan Goins on notes now, wouldn't I? Uh, that just shows you how long ago I wrote that. But that's my story for the day. And on that note, I shall leave you to enjoy the rest of your day. And do, as always, please do comment below if you're watching this and just let me know your thoughts, either on Facebook or on YouTube. Quite a bit, I'll always respond. And if you like this kind of content, hit that little like button and do subscribe and share with your friends. It really does help as I try to get to those elusive 50 plus figures on views. <laughs> it won't take a while, but... As I always say, this is really me and my thoughts, and my vlog, video log. That's what this is. No fancy lighting, no fancy anything else. It's just me. Anyway, much love. Catch you soon. Bye-bye.